Hi everyone, I'll put you back to Betchworth Castle near Dorking. Fantastic old ruin uh, going back to the 1400s. They believe there was actually an Iron Age hill fort on the site before uh, many, many years ago. But the reason I brought you here, as I've been saying a lot in my recent videos, um, I'm fascinated to know why the ancients built their sacred sites where they did. Okay, things like old burial mounds, Bronze Age barrows, you know. Um, ancient settlements, causewayed enclosures. Why did they build them where they did? And I am saying that I think the ancients were susceptible to the earth energy currents that I talk about quite a lot in my videos as well, which you can now detect through dowsing. Now I've, I've come up with a bit of a hunch um, and also do some recent dowsing to produce some interesting results. I think there's a major earth energy current coming through Surrey, Hampshire, uh, down to the sort of Kent coast. I'm calling it the Wessex Serpent Trail. The West, Wessex Serpent Trail, because Wessex back in the day used to cover all of Southern England. So I'm announcing a new project where I'm gonna try and douse some of these areas and just see if I can pick up where the energy currents go through. Now, I've done a few videos from some churches recently, churches where there was an ancient site on, on there before the church was built, and picked up some interesting results, which will be uh, up some upcoming videos. So what I'm gonna try and do is work out if there is an earth energy current coming through Surrey and Hampshire, and even, here's the biggie, this is just a hunch though, that it flows from Avebury down. Now obviously everyone knows about the Michael and Mary line, which goes from the Cornish coast at St Michael's Mount all the way through Glastonbury and Avebury and right up to the Norfolk coast. I think there's an equally powerful one that goes from Avebury, probably further than, than Avebury obviously, but from Avebury comes down this way, uh, like a serpent, like a serpent energy. Okay, it weaves slightly, expands, contracts, expands, contracts. These aren't ley lines, these aren't ley lines. Uh, it, although they're both associated with the same thing, you know, a ley line is a straight alignment of sacred sites. So we might find that there might be a few node points, the male and female energy, because there seem to be a male and female energy, yin and yang, crossing over at various points. So there will be a bit of map dowsing. Uh, there will be a bit of practical work out in the field, so to speak. Not an easy task to undertake. I mean, we've done so much uh, dowsing at Avebury over the years. We've uncovered quite a lot of stuff. I'm sort of expanding that, um, that notion. Um, I don't know how well I'll do. You know, I might get some help from a few people as well. But I'm just fascinated to know if there is a major Earth energy current coming through the southeast, which I think there is. Especially the other day when I was in um, Hampton Court and I nearly got blown over in the Royal Chapel. You know, um, I said in another video that people associate all heavy atmospheres with ghosts and spirits. Um, but actually I think it could be due with Earth Energy. It's a very, very powerful place there. So um, yeah, that's, that's the plan. The Wessex Serpent Project, I'm calling it. The Wessex Serpent Project. Um, so lots of dowsing to be done. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I even asked a couple of times if it was more of a powerful earth energy current than the Michael and Mary, and it said yes. Okay. You know, people say, well, what do you use these energies for? Well, you know, you feel the atmosphere when you're in these places, and you can sometimes, if you ever walked in somewhere and you think, oh, it's strong here, you know, you could be outside and you feel something, that could be an earth energy current coming through, you know. Um, you know, it's interesting through dowsing, you know, hopefully through the unified field we can come up with some results, you know. Even Mr. Skeptic like I am, um, I find dowsing does work and no one really knows why it does. Um, we've got our ideas, we've got our, our uh, suggestions, but you know, everyone reckons they're an expert, <laughs> I'm no expert, but I've been doing it a long time and I seem to get results, so you know. Um, but yeah, we will try and bring my friend Rob in um, at some point and also get some other dowsers in to verify some of the stuff I'm picking up on. So I'll, so I'll bring them on site couple of weeks later for example but not tell them what I've doused for and just see if they pick up the same trail. Um, I was here last year and I did some dowsing here last year and uh, did pick up an earth energy current coming through the castle going up uh, towards, um, I don't know where we're going to, towards sort of Rygate and down that way. 
so yeah it'll be quite an interesting project I'm quite excited about it um, and hope you'll join me for the journey let's find out if there is a Wessex serpent <laughs> <laughs>